introduce you now to Caroline Wustman. She won the Two Oceans Marathon. She did it in style. Caroline, welcome to Sport at 10. How do you, you and your coach, first of all, are planning that you just want to finish top 10. You know, three, uh, three hours, 50 minutes is the target. Mm -hmm. Nothing too hectic. And you thought that was too tough anyway. Yeah, um, I had quite a lot of hard training building up to it. And he kept saying to me, I'm worried that you're going to go too fast. And I kept saying to him, no, I don't think so. I'm worried that I'm going to go too slow. And um, on the course, when I saw him, the first thing he said to me was, you're going too fast. <laughs> but I was like, sorry, I'm feeling really good. So yeah, I just kept going. And there's a moment I want to talk to you about because in the race itself, it starts, you're telling me that, uh, and you were telling some of those at, at the end of the race that it was actually some of the, uh, the spectators who were telling you where you were, what position you were in in the race. Yes, yeah, the people on the side of the road are so helpful and friendly, but it's not always accurate. Uh -huh. So you get an idea of where you are, but like one person might say you're coming fifth, and then the next person tells you you're coming third. So you're never 100% sure. But you knew but you were there. Yeah, I knew. And when I moved into third spot, um, then somebody on a bike started riding next to me, and there was a sign on the bike saying third woman or something. So then I gathered, okay, now I'm in third. Now I know I'm in third. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then. You're closing in on the Russian. You see her just in front of you. And then what happens? Because I even, when I saw it happen, I thought mm, it could be construed as being a little bit unsportsmanlike, but you were so happy. Yeah, you know, and when I first saw her, I actually wanted to slow down a little bit because I thought, gee, like this is a moment, you know, I can move into the lead and I didn't want to do it too early. Mm. But then all of a sudden I was just right oh, behind her and actually what was there she is yeah. <laughs> and look at you that's you can we just go back there for a second because those of us who are not quick didn't see that but uh let's have a look and see exactly what happens there with caroline going past because the russian is in the lead and then caroline comes uh with the hands waving or you even you put your tongue out you're like i'm gone here bye-bye <laughs> Yeah, what actually happened was um, I was coming up behind her and with the camera crew and everything there, <laughs> it was taking up quite a lot of the road. So I started shouting before I got there. I was like, coming through, coming through. <laughs> but nobody was moving out the way because I think <laughs> nobody noticed that I was approaching. Uh -huh. So yeah, so eventually when I got their attention to like let me through, I was like, hello, I'm here. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, is that your excuse? You <laughs> yeah, blame it on the excuse, SABC yes. camera tracks. So, <laughs> however, she never saw you again. You were gone. Yeah, you know, I actually put um, like in quite a surge there just to make sure because I thought, you know, this is my moment. Now I'm moving into first place in two oceans. I don't want her to think that she can chase me. So I just decided to go past her as fast as I possibly could and hopefully then she would think, you know, I can continue with that right to the end and not try and chase me. Now, everyone who looks at that thinks Carolyn Wisman is a professional runner. That's what she must be mm -hmm. doing. She wins two oceans. There's no way she's not a professional. Mm -hmm. That's not your real job. Running is not your real job. No, no, I'm a lecturer at WITS. So my real job is lecturing and then running is my thing for fun, but it has taken up a lot more time than what a fun, a fun runner would, <laughs> would take. But you're not professional. How do you beat professionals? Are yeah. you just that talented? No, you know, I train definitely the same amount as what they do. I just go to work afterwards maybe instead of, instead of spending more time on recovery. And that can get a little bit tricky at times because the recovery is very important. But I definitely am training the same amount of hours as what they're training, I'm sure. And you're a chartered accountant. Yes. So I was looking at some of the numbers. I mean, the bank account's probably looking a little bit healthier now. Our <laughs> comrades last year came in as the first South African. Two oceans now. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Looking healthy? Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? Um, I think that because I really enjoy the running so much, I decided that I am going to take some sacrifices in my career so that I have more time to run. I see being a lecturer is not nearly as stressful a job as being out in the corporate world. So definitely, like, these sort of um, financial gains I've had have helped a lot. <laughs> but there is in the two oceans, a lot of people don't know this, but there's a one million rand prize if you beat the record. And when I look at where you were in relation to the record, you're only 11 minutes slower than Frith van der Merwe's time. I mean, is that a lot? 
Uh, yeah, I think it's a huge amount. <laughs> um, I don't even know how I managed to run the time that I ran. Like to Three run. I was 41. Yeah, I didn't think that I had that kind of a time in me over that distance. I really didn't think so. I think that um, that Frith's time though is it's equates to about 3:45 per kilometer, and I ran 3:57 per kilometer. And if you work that out per kilometer, it's actually quite a big difference. So she was flying. She was flying, yeah, from start and to finish. And are you saying flying. you can't fly that fast? I'm not saying I can't because I don't, I believe that anything is possible, but definitely not now. <laughs> and you got comrades coming up. Yes. Are you, you did well. I mean, last year, sixth place in the comrades, first yes. South African woman home. Can you do both? Can you do a comrades and do well and also do a two oceans and do well? You know, they say that if you race two oceans, the recovery time is just too long. And if you look at the international marathoners, I mean, they only race two marathons a year. So I'm, I'm actually not sure. I can't say at this stage, but you know, when, when you have a day where you feel so good, and you have the, you see that moment where you can win something like two oceans. I wasn't going to bypass that moment. Mm. I was going to take it when I had it because I don't know what's going to happen at Comrades. Can you explain why you won? Because no one expected you. Your training said, this is not what you're there for. The preparation in your mind is, I'm just here to finish maybe in the top 10. What made you the winner at the end of the day? Now, I think there were so many different factors. Like my training has been going so well and I definitely knew I was in the shape of my life. I actually said to Lindsay during the week, my coach, that um, I'm worried that I might be peaking too soon for comrades because I was just feeling so good in all my training runs. So that was one factor. And then the other factor was that I didn't have any pressure, you know, like I was there to just enjoy it. I was there to have fun at the race. And I think uh -huh. that your mental, um, your mindset going into the race makes a huge difference as well. So I wasn't stressed out. I wasn't um, mentally fatigued. I was just there to have fun and I did. How are you feeling though? 56 kilometers later, I saw the walk was a little bit slower than I'm sure you normally walk. No, I think I'm walking slowly because this is way past my bedtime. <laughs> no, no, actually I'm feeling great. My legs are a little bit sore a couple of days afterwards, but, but now I feel fine back to normal. I'd be in hospital. Thank you very much, <laughs> Carolyn Wissman, champion of the two oceans. All the best at the comrades. Great, thank you so much for having me.